we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you guys. I hope it's going to be quick. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Let's get into it. So what I did was just like, um, Spirit just said, put the cards out on the table. I hadn't even really like gone through them. So we can go through them together. So thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So um, let's see what's going on here, Aquarius. Um, money, Ooh, money in the building. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I said the most urgent messages for Aquarius right now, money, a young woman and size. Okay, let's get size. Um, let's see what's in this deck. I need more money. Okay. Material, marriage material. Okay. And a cheat or a cheater. So someone is a cheat. They will cheat you or they're a cheater. Okay. Let me get this to focus. All right. So, and then we have... I'm never getting a divorce, fired from the job, white witch, gambling addiction. Then we have, this was funny, 29 and 30 came up. So 11 and three. So it's about manifestation and then creation, coming to life, making a choice. All right. So we're going to see what that's about. Looks like Aquarius, you got money coming to you. Money from things that you've done, you will be doing. It's here in this card, it's like money on the table. So I don't know if you're leaving money on the table. It's money in the cupboards. So this is about saving money also. Um, it's like you've got the power to make more money. Because somebody here needs more money. I need more money. Um, someone could have gotten fired from the job or left the job. or It could be a young woman here. Somebody is marriage material. So looks like somebody is preparing for marriage, is marriage material, size. It's just like, maybe you just feel like, it's just like, hmm, it's just like regrettable or, or, or disappointment. It's like you, it's like you come into terms with the type of person that you've been dealing with, okay? Uh, with the size card, it's like, I don't know. It, nothing really surprises you at this point. It's like you just know how to deal. Yeah, you could be a divorcee, but there's somebody here who wants to save the marriage. Um, you could be in sorrow because you have to let this situation go. It's causing a lot of pain for you. This is somebody without a, a partner. This is someone who could be going through menopause also. Isolation and just feeling abandoned. You need to kind of determine where things lie in your life and maybe prioritize. Somebody is like in fear of separation and they're just feeling overwhelmed 
from maybe being separated from this cheater or this is you or this is someone else. Someone just doesn't see life without this person. Y young woman coming out with marriage material. So there's somebody here who has, you know, youth about them or either is young or looks young. Um, it looks like somebody is looking at her as marriage material. So this could also be a blind date. So some of you, I heard that some of you could have signed up for like a dating service, date, a mating service. So this might even be like, um, yeah, like a matchmaking service. This could be, you know, in ex this is a, Someone's tempted towards you, but they also view you as marriage material. Like they just can't, they know that they can't give you what they, what you want, what you deserve. Uh, so they might be playing with you, playing with their time. Somebody needs more money. You could be an inheritance could be coming to you. There could be like a winning or lucky streak, abundance and increase, you know, um, Success and prosperity is within reach. And that's why it's kind of like money on the table here. Some of you are gaining confidence, self-worth, success, and just values, okay? But you need more money. But it looks like it's coming, okay? There's somebody here who can't give you what, what you want, but they like that you're youthful, you look good. I don't know, it's like almost like stealing your youth or your your time. They're a cheat or a cheater. Someone can't deal with the fact that they have to let a cheater go. Yeah, somebody is getting fired from the relationship or the job. So yeah, someone feels like someone's just positive altogether, naive. You know, there's passivity with them. They're just just they're just, you know, white, clean, clear. And someone is a cheater, gambling with someone's time, their energy, and also just uh, gambling in regards to getting caught cheating. But whomever this is is never getting a divorce or they won't let someone go. I don't know if someone won't let you go, Aquarius. There's somebody who wants to impregnate you or you could be pregnant or you could be starting a new project or a relationship. Someone is definitely longing for the past, you know, a past person, or this could be someone longing for you. Let's talk about coming to life. This reading is kind of all over the place. Um, someone really doesn't want to let you go. Let's see what shells we have. Oh, we have abundance. And the money talks about abundance. You got love coming to you and family. Wow. So it looks like you got a lot coming towards you, Aquarius. But then there's like the past. Oh, maybe this is something coming to life, but you got to make a choice. Okay. So like, it's just like when the past meets the future. So you got to make a choice here. Let's see what this is all about. I'm just going to skim through this. I'm not really going to read all of it. Um, yeah, something beautiful is being born. Again, some of you could have a baby, be having a baby pregnant. A dream is coming true and it's beginning to show signs that it's coming true. Don't try to coax it along or try to usher it in or rush it in. Just let it shape up. Trust spirit in this and knowing that they're going to manifest the best dream, the best outcome for you. Now is going to be a time for reverence and awe. Like you're going to be like something that's going to be like jaw dropping for you. All you have to do is show up Aquarius. When you look at your life, you can see how far you've come, how far you've grown. You, maybe you've let go of, or you need to let go of some old skin, you know, and you need to come into a new identity so that you can create, create something new. This is what I'm talking about. When the past meets, you know, the present or the future. 
you've matured in your ideas about yourself and maybe even the world. You know that things take time now and spirit's timetable is rarely in sync with your own. So it's like you knew that something was going to take time, but now it's coming to you. Like it's going to be jaw dropping. So making a choice. You're required to come to a decision now. So we know what a decision is when you got to go in, make an incision and then cut away. So you got to cut something out of your life. You're faced with a dilemma, a fork in the road regarding, you know, next action. Whatever your choice, you got to take responsibility for it. You may not have all the answers right now. Trust your intuition. Ask for a sign from spirit. You go, you're going to be led in the right direction. Success lies in choosing consciously guided by intuition and spirit. Right. So what is this about this intuitive? Like um, somebody's got to trust intuition and in making. I feel like it's about maybe the past coming back because somebody's longing for you or you're longing from the past for the past or your long, you some of you can't wrap your mind around letting go of maybe a cheater or cheat someone who's just cheating you, or someone who's lying, gambling with your time, making a choice. It's like you don't have all the information. You need to make a choice. Ask for angelic help with the temperance card so that you can make a fair and balanced choice. You can compromise or come to some compromise, maybe about starting your own business or becoming single uh yeah just single independent and it happening fast for you you know um some of your marriage material maybe marriage could even be happening fast you're gonna have to make a decision do you want the the old or the new what is coming to life for aquarius what is coming to life for aquarius All of a sudden, you about to be super abundant. You had abundant come up. This is third time now. Out of the blue, out of nowhere. You about to be sitting pretty. You have to be somebody's wife. Wow. Queen of Cups. Beautiful. She's the traditional beauty. So a lot of people find this person, you know, pretty beautiful. Wow. And the Queen of Pentacles. Man, you about to be, oh my gosh, Aquarius. What is this? Um sitting pretty looking good smelling good on top of your business having different streams of income listening to your intuition all of a sudden you're about to be just out here give me one more card for it. what is coming to life you're about to be embodying the empress energy which she embodies all of the the queens here what is coming to life for aquarius um the knight of cups an offer and a romantic proposal inspiration divine intervention divine inspiration the devil and the seven of swords is coming to life is like the newness meeting old and you're gonna have to make a choice here you're gonna have to decide with the devil and the seven of swords something is hidden someone is, is being overly ambitious to stop you derail you in your tracks um manipulate you deceive you take you off course what is the devil and the seven of swords the devil and the seven of swords star card the eight so somebody wants to have sex with you <clears throat> the three of cups reunion with you sex with you reconciliation oh somebody may even come back and you know and be as desperate so desperate that they propose marriage to you but it's coming with maybe um, I don't know if this is going to progress. It, it it might just be a proposal. Like if you accept, then you guys will, it's going to be an extremely extremely long engagement because this is more time opportunity for this person to string you along. Also, because you've been so ambitious and you've been doing your thing behind the scenes. Oh, they say you've been evading the devil. You've been really getting away out of his grips. Like every time this, this devil energy tries to find you or get you or bind, bind you because what the devil wants to do, that's what you do. 
evade the devil, resist. It looks like you get a major wish fulfillment, commercial success, Aquarius. Maybe in your own business as an entrepreneur. Also, perseverance, like perseverance, perseverance, uh, Mercury retrograde. Um, <laughs> You let something new develop for you, evading the, de the devil. What somebody meant for you, like some binding, binding spell, binding, trying to bind themselves to you sexually, whatever. Like it turned around on them and now they're, they're carrying that heavy load. You turning down the devil, resisting the devil, pushing away the devil, being proactive and setting up defense mechanism and going the other direction, it caused for somebody to be in this energy, the eight of swords, the ten of wands. They don't know where to go. This is somebody who's stuck wandering on autopilot. This is somebody who thought you would never leave or change or the dynamic would never change. You get a major wish fulfillment, Aquarius. Success, triumph, victory, commercial success, maybe even proposal, marriage, celebrations, abundance. Because you, you escape the grip or the, the bind of the devil. In a traditional tarot, this card is yellow. So it's like you already knew that this was just to bind you. And here he's wearing red. So you took your power. You won. You won over this lesson that came to you. It could be, come by way of a person place or thing, addiction. All of a sudden you're sitting pretty open, open to doing something creative in a very creative state mind, state of mind, maybe even like making money from home, getting creative like downloads, and then the devil comes in to try to tempt you, evading again. I can't make it up. Somebody was trying to go undetected that they weren't in devil energy, but you've picked it up. That's the past. And then, and then you're coming into the new. Learning something, making a choice. Getting the knowledge that you need to make a fair and balanced compromise choice. In regards to being single, starting over, moving on, being a savvy business owner, showing others the way, having financial security, maybe even a travel romance or a romance coming into you, or this could be online dating or something, matchmaking is what I would get. Damn Aquarius. I wasn't going to do a reading for what's coming next for you. This looks good. So let's get some advice. What you need to do is when that person comes back and tempts you, this is all of their energy right here, I believe. Whatever they're in, they're not trying to divorce it, whether it's a relationship or just a negative lifestyle, or they do sex, sex, drugs, rock and roll. They're not trying to divorce that, okay? Uh, they could be into risky business, risky activity. They understand that you, you're good and they need a, a bit of good in their life because the devil card is about duality, right? So it's about, you know, do what you want first and spirituality last. So we'll bring in a little spirituality. We'll do good sometimes. And this is why this person wants you in their life. They may have gotten fired from their job or if they didn't get fired, like you fired them out of your life. Like you cut them out of your life. Okay. You cut them off and they may be coming back to try you again. Okay. And it looks like you 
you resist and the devil flees like they know that they can't trick you you're in your power and you're walking away from something you've walked away from this partnership relationship situationship that had a lot of chemistry but it was it was taken from you so you took your power back what is the advice here it's a lot of money on the table you've been leaving a lot of money on the table because you've been so focused on love and in a love relationship with somebody who's absolutely horrible um, because they don't want to change not that they can't ever be better it's just they don't everything is a choice you cho you chose to get up this morning and go to work everything is a choice right three of wands wow something becomes wildly successful some prayers you put out there like expect to be in shock and awe says that one card like jaw dropping what is this about for Aquarius? Wow. Seven of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Like you evaded like falsehood. And that's what the devil is about. Like this is the false perception of happiness, like pleasure, right? And the Ten of Cups can talk about pleasurable things because it talks about the emotions. So you evaded being involved in maybe a relationship that was, you know, masked in like falsehood. Like it wasn't real. Like somebody could paint a picture, you know, um, set the stage for happiness, but were you really going to be happy? Were they really going to be make you happy? Were they really going to change? It's like they were trying to deceive you with this falsehood. Um, maybe because they know that you're going to be super successful or they know that you're going to, I don't know. What's the advice here? What's the advice here? Advice for Aquarius. Wow, Empress. Now you get some of the repeating cards. You are the Empress. Know your worth. And add tax, you know, the Empress, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles talks about knowing your worth. Okay. It talks about knowing that you're a good catch, that knowing that you deserve a committed, stable relationship, and being a very fertile time in your life. And maybe other people are picking up on that too. Look, energy is transferable, right? So if Aquarius energy is good, the other person's is kind of iffy, bad then of course they want to be around you. They want to love on you. They want you in their life because you can, you, they can manifest from you. When you hear people say that or readers saying that, they say like when you're in someone's life, things are good because you're bringing good vibrations. You only want good for people, for the person that you love. It's just like your energy really, you know, catapults people to be the better them. But if they're in the devil energy, they're going to be the better them for themselves. And it's going to come off as, maybe materialistic and, and carnality. So they're only going to manifest for themselves. Firstly, it's probably going to be material, you know, harvest. That's what they want. They want money, you know, and they want it for themselves. It, it doesn't include you. It includes you as long as you allow me to use your energy, you know? So Aquarius, keep that in mind. Um, let's see advice here for Aquarius, the hermit. Yeah. Go within withdraw for, from the world for a while the knight of cups because the knight of cups came in back here you're going to get some download from the universe and it's going to allow for you to um this is creative ways of making money and you need more money abundance is here for you money's on the table so withdraw S sit with spirit sit with yourself yep because you're going to figure out how to monetize your gift or how to share your gift. You're also going to get some express knowledge about maybe past life, who you were in a past life. Wow. Magician. Yeah. How to, sh how to use everything that you have to bring it in, bring your dreams into fruition, playing your cards, right? The universe is going to show you how to play your cards, right? Like, look, you have all the tools, <laughs> that you need to be successful to have abundance. Let me show you how to alchemize, how to use it. Let me show you how to put it together, how to sell yourself, how to take matters into your own hands, what spells to do, what, when to do them, what this a great magician here. You might even get some familiar spirits 
positive familiar spirits my right hand is itching y'all about to get some money um wow this is definitely spot on wow you about to get some knowledge and you're going to also present it to other people so when you get this knowledge you're not going to hoard it you also want to understand like you're not going to be conceited with it you're going to understand that true power comes from the divine and that you know what pass it on share it six of cups share gift people guide so you might even get like some knowledge of how to guide other people and it's going to bring you money one last card for aquarius wow i can't make it it's going to bring you money page of pentacles successful business start everything starts small right wow you may be so successful that you start to kind of get a little bit tired frustrated exhausted under the weight of your own success you may have to get a personal assistant you may have to get some help in here because you didn't know it was going to be this many people you know coming after you taking on too much maybe even busy um you know uh, seeing a, a big ass dream realized and then it could be work from home keeping record of something writing a writing script a script for people it could be prescription or script writing something for people I knew it was going to be that writing a spell you might even be writing spells for people it's got something to do with maybe them getting what they want money material wealth fame acclaim whatever you write is going to give you wealth abundance a healthy life do something in moderation drink or something in moderation also the moon moderation nine of cups so i'm hearing like i don't know maybe some spell work that you're doing they're going to show you when to do it when's the best time to do it oh perfect timing to get your your wishes Granted, says make a wish. It could very well come true. My my right hand's still itching. Y'all gonna get some big big money. Angelic presence help. Perfect timing. They so when you go within Aquarius spirits, about to tell you when to do your spells, how to do them. I heard meticulous. So you about to get some meticulous instruction. And it's going to bring about nine of cups. Keep in mind, something becomes wildly successful. You show others the way, uh, whatever, laundering a, a project, and it, it just becomes successful. You're going to come out of the energy of like wandering, or just kind of like on a spiritual journey. It ends for you. The nine of wands, yeah, it comes to an end, three of swords. You get some clarity you get big ass rewards an expert in your field you don't see something coming the fuck I don't know what you're doing um don't give up nine of wands it's been tough it's been a long journey rocky um No, don't tell them that. Okay. Well, all right. Well, um, uh, Aquarius, spiritual journey, wandering, trying to figure out where you're going or how you were going to get there. Misinterpreting, miscommunication. Something has been a riddle or a maze or something's been evading you. Secret mystery. <gasps> oh, you about to get some mysteries about the universe. You about to get some mysteries about creation, about how to create. Oh, this is like for some high vibe and like straight up magician Aquarius like this is not 
this isn't for the Aussie cheating type people. Nothing, no offense to any of them, you know. We all are here for different reasons, right? Some of y'all are about to. This supposed to have been a short reading. This. Okay. Nine of Wands. Wounded Warrior. Battle. Long time coming. Eight of Cups. Long journey. Some of your spell work was. It, it just, just needs to be upgraded and it looks like the universe is about to give you that upgrade because you're about to co-create co-exist or you put some element a different element into your spell work perfect timing alignment meticulous instruction and it gains you what you think you want with the nine of cups uh, fame, acclaim, fortune, success, wealth, uh, abundance, eat, drink, be merry. You get all of that. You was missing, you was missing a mark or you was misinterpreting something. All right, Aquarius, get a, some of y'all about the catapult like straight to success endurance endurance creates character so some of you are about to get there because you endured and created good character within you and character is just historical reference you know like how do you deal with certain situations right historically so it's something about care building this character in you is going to get you Other people's money, large sums of money, loan, inheritance, mystery. It's about to be some mystery. You're about to get direction. You're about to get some material harvest. People are about to be mad, upset. How did you do that? That's all I just heard. How did you do that? Damn, and then the page of swords. Let me know what y'all doing down in the comment section. Of course, I don't even know anymore. I mean, you just. Oh, look, they tell me, look at this. And then this was on top. I'll show you how it was. So I don't think it was like my like gaming you over here. So this is how the deck was. And then I looked at the first card. I'm more spiritual than you. That's our problem. Some of you about to be on top because you're about to use spirituality to, to catapult you to like success. Wow. You're about to really expand your mind and your perspective about something. And maybe even about yourself and your own power. Uh, this relationship that puts you in a bad space, I don't think it's going to matter anymore. Some of you got shit, Aquarius. You got this. This is not even just like a little card. Depends on what type of card you want. This is like a nice ass card coming to you. For so long, you were confused because you you wouldn't listen to your intuition. Third eye chakra. Yeah. What else do you want to tell Aquarius? Some of you cleared out all that junk in your heart. 
because you know that's where we manifest from our heart right we can yell all day that we're oh i'm so positive and i'm so great and i just love people and i love babies and love you but deep down in your heart you your heart might be cold and black and hateful and that eventually will show up right and that's where you're manifesting from so if you got cold black you know just unforgiving heart you you might be there's your answer to why you're not getting what you want or your manifestations are not being made real because you're manifesting from a cold hard dark wretched place especially for some of you who want love so you got to go work backwards so now instead of praying for a partner you're gonna pray god please help me transform my heart please help me forgive these people it might be very hard like somebody may have did the unthinkable to you or about you said about you whatever so you have to ask for prayer and, and god is going to give you expressed instruction because i did this you know years ago in regards to you know my own life and then i got instruction of how to forgive and um, it was simple but when i did it it was like just release i could i could talk to that person in in the the enmity the the, the hatred the disdain the hurt just wasn't there anymore you know and um that had to be divine miraculous because it didn't come from me because i you know i tried myself i would say that oh i've forgiven that person and you know but just even having to talk to them and like, grit my teeth trying to oh and try to stop myself from wringing their neck you know so when you know you might need a little help with that when you have nothing good to say about that person or, or the situation at least have something good to say about the situation I learned that I'm taking from this that it was a horrible situation but I help other people whatever you know when you when you start to talk like that about Trump traumatic turbulent situations and you know like healing is happening forgiveness is happening it might be a process but it's happening and you want it to happen because we we manifest we manifest from our heart so if you're trying to manifest big ass business big ass career big ass house big love and you just can't for the life of you understand why you keep being met with karmic situations it might be a heart chakra issue so make your prayer God please illuminate to me what what I need to fix about me about my heart what's going on okay um start to get you some rose quartz you know put it around you wear it on you you can wear it okay yeah Some of you is is held up because of that reason. Yeah. Wow, I can't make it up. Look, I flipped the deck. And then you're gonna have what? You gonna have instant manifestation. And cause you like expensive things, Aquarius, and this broke ass person can't afford you. But you'll be able to afford it for yourself or find someone who will. Um, but you're gonna have instant manifestation. But you have to work on that hard. I know you feel like, oh, I can get by without doing that. Yeah, I felt that way too, but yeah. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Get your own personal reading at the website level. Readings are on sale, $50 for 10 minute video recorded, 10 minute phone, so you can get on the phone with me. Take advantage, they're on sale, take advantage, especially if you wanna know, do I have a heart chakra issue? So then you can start to, once you get the reading, if it's yes or no, you know what you can work on. And so that you can start to get that life you want. It's about, I hope you come into my readings at least to get results. It's about the end game, the end result. It's not about, oh, I just want to know if Charlie's cheating on me now. What the fuck are you going to do with that information? You already know. Come on. Like, 
let's move let's move it ahead let's move it ahead like we we know charlie is a cheater his name starts with a c no anyway <laughs> guys thank you for being here many blessings to you i'm live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time come be around like-minded business minds like yourself join the ktmg keep the momentum going a monthly conference call where you will receive uh, spiritual and practical advice about how to start maintain or grow your business you receive individual spell work mantra uh, daily affirmation um, so that you can heighten the energy you know of uh, maintaining your business starting your business growing your business also you get express knowledge about what you need to change about yourself and um, with some of the membership levels if you want to get individual coaching with me you get your birth chart analyzed so you can really understand if you should even be in that sector of work or in that line of work you can see where where it best fits you you know uh, according to your birth chart um so if you want to get individual co coaching with me go ahead and sign up for the complimentary discovery call to see if i can help you get to that end result because here it's about end results we don't want to be where we were last week, last month, last year. You, we over here jumping timelines over here. I don't know what you're doing, but we're trying to, um, you know, we ready. Okay. We stay ready. This is what I have for you. Take care. Many blessings to you.